Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, I'm going to unbox Storm Over Jerusalem, designed by Scott Blanton and published by Multiman Publishing. This game covers the Roman siege of Jerusalem in 70 AD. It is a card-assisted area movement war game. Let's get down to the table for a closer look. All right, Storm Over Jerusalem, the Roman Siege. This is a game that I've been wanting to check out for a while now. Designed by Scott Blanton, um, developed by Ray Farrell, again, published by Multiman Publishing, MMP. You know, this is a two-player war game, so I don't know 100% how well it's going to solo. Um, it does rely on a deck of cards, right? It's card-assisted, card-driven game. But um, I will say offhandedly that Scott Blanton, the designer, has been working on a solo bot to handle the Judean side. Um, and then you would play as the Roman. So it's not released yet. And uh, I do have access to the files. I'm probably going to check it out. I'm not going to show off on my channel, though. It's still, he said it still needs some work. So, um, but there is a possibility of that in the future for solo play. Otherwise, it may be more of a really strong two-handed game, or, or I should say a strong two-player game that, you know, if you're going to play solo, you're going to have to just be used to, like, managing two hands of cards, that type of thing. So, anyway, let's go ahead and open her up. Check it out. Storm over Jerusalem, the Roman Siege. Take a look at it here. Again, it is a, you know, card-assisted game, area movement. You can see the numbered areas on the map, and we'll open it up, take a look at everything. But in the year 70... By the year 70 of the common era oh boy common era okay anyway common era of what what's what's 70 years after hmm anyway the province of judea had been in revolt against rome for nearly four years the protests and riots that began in 66 had quickly turned into open rebellion the standard roman punitive force under syrian legate cestius gallus having failed to capture jerusalem was wiped out at beth haran general vespasian was given command of the roman army in the region in order to crush the rebellion and restore order Turmoil in Rome, however, saw Vespasian recalled to become emperor. You're the four emperors. In early 70, Emperor Vespasian dispatched his son Titus, future emperor, along with four legions to end the rebellion in this important province. All right, let's open her up. See what we got here. And of course, uh, beautiful cover here, beautiful classic artwork. Okay. Storm Over Jerusalem is an international game series, customer service. Okay, so it tells you what should be in here. Uh, double check later, make sure it's all in there. We had some dice here, a couple blue, a couple red. We have our Judean dice and our Roman dice. All right, deck of cards, which actually, um, look at this uh, tuck box they're in. That's actually really cool. Like, I don't know if anyone does that, in, especially in Wargaming. That is really awesome. Um, so you can keep them in there, I'm sure. Yep. You won't be able to fit them in if you sleeved them, as long as they're not sleeved. They'll fit right back in there. That is really cool. There are plastic wraps here, but should be nice and quick. Yep, easy plastic. Nice, easy take off. Yep, pause the camera to do it. Amazing. Looking at these cards, I already can tell looking at them. They are wonderful quality. A nice linen finish. So if it kind of get a little bit of the glare there, you can actually see that linen finish. Super nice quality. Um, and you have cards for both sides, right? So you have cards for the Roman player, um, cards for the Jewish player. So... Um, Looking at them a little bit here. And again, with my uh, my recons, my unboxes, I'm not teaching the game, I'm not covering everything. I'm just kind of running through, just seeing my first, giving my first impressions, and you get to see the game in, in 4K here. So, forced into hiding. Play as part of your impulse. If the Roman player controls one or more city areas, the Judean player uh, must select one of their Judean leaders that is currently off map. Not kind of limited, but the Roman player will gain one VP at the end phase only for having. Uh, Jordanian leader off map. Siege towers, obviously huge, important part of this battle. Um, for your impulse, add up to two level one siege towers in one or two Judean controlled areas that also contain one or more Roman legion units. Okay, so you have siege towers, right? You have the different areas you're being controlled. Titus's leadership. For your impulse, draw three cards. Roman player makes seed their hand size during the impulse phase of this turn. So, very nice. Okay, combined assault. Yeah, and I love, look at this artwork on here. I don't know where that came from. Mortality, Palisades built, Famine, but wonderful, um, wonderful artwork on these cards. So, very nice. Some Roman cards. Let's look at some of the Judean player cards. Sorry if I bumped the camera there. Divine Intervention. Save the temple. Once played, the current impulse is paused for all reasons. Move up to two adjacent, fresh Judean units in area 22, temple mount. All right. So just very, you know, 
very uh, you know thematic, right? Keeping the the realities of of what the conflict was over, you know, what the Judeans felt like they were fighting over, what the Romans felt like they were fighting over, and uh, distilling it into not only the game board, which we'll look at in a second, but also these cards. Okay. Enough again of that. We're not going to cover every single card in the game. If I do a potential playthrough, uh, which I don't know if I will, we'll see. So, all right, the rule book here, and I know I've already looked at the PDF of the rules. It is not a thick rule book at all. It ends with, you can see here, it's part of an example, which, by the way, nice full color, glossy style rule book, but 12 pages, and that is with this last um, example, which I think is a couple pages long. Yep, a couple of pages. So, the actual rules here go down and end after 10 pages. So not heavy, um, a heavy rule, rule laden game. Um, I looked at the back of the box. What does it say? It is considered, yeah, they have it as low complexity. I don't know if I'd rate it low, um, probably low in MMP's catalog, <laughs> but low is for uh, most war games. No, probably like a low medium though. But all right, so full color, um, case style, you have, you know, Units here, and showing what they are, everything about them, their firepower, defense strength, movement, um, the fresh side, and then the spent side, the two different uh, sort of factions for the Judeans, Simon and John, and have a you know, purple and blue, and then the red for the Romans, telling you, you know, the card layouts, map key, all the good stuff here. Looks like we got lots of oh, movement example, very nice. Always love having a sequence of play. So you're drawing cards, you have your impulses, Right, you're activating areas during impulse, end phase, wrap up, I'm sure, with cards, and then looks like a bunch of steps there. It doesn't look like an overly complicated from when I read the, oh, and here, look, uh, attack example, applying damage points, attack from a tactical card example, assault example. So lots of examples with pictures. I really, really appreciate that, and lots of pictures in general, which, you know, visual learner, very nice. Okay, fantastic. Again, I'm not trying to learn the game here. We're just trying to look things over, and so far, looks pretty good. All right, Storm of Jerusalem, player aid card here. Double-sided. Card stock, uh, eh, not too thick, but that's all right. Just a player aid card, no big deal. You can see here, sequence of play, your actions you take in your impulse, VP conditions, Roman siege towers, repairing, you know, so maybe those special rules, right, that you usually have to check the rule book for. Nice to have them on here. Judean supply restrictions, Judean areas unable to refresh. Attack sequence, assault sequence, applying damage points. All oh, very nice that these are on here. And I think I see another one in the back. So if there's two of them, we can just I can put one up. Especially playing solo, one up, you know, this way, one up that way, and uh, how I like to do it. So very nice. And look at these counters here. I think I saw. We'll save the map. Let's grab out the other counters. Shows like two counter sheets. Which, if you notice right now, you may be able to tell already. These counters are huge, which is awesome, by the way. Yep. So looks like another player aid and then just a sheet of paper at the bottom okay um another player aid looks the exact same so yeah i mean obviously it's a two-player game right two player aids it is nice from either that perspective or if you're playing solo being able to kind of flip them around a little bit so look at these counters counter sheet one and two so these counters and again i film in 4k so you should have a nice good view of them Pause for a second. You can kind of look at them. Pause the image if you want. Whatever you want to do, pause the video. Very cool artwork on the counters here. Very nice. You know, which uh, which legion they are. The auxiliaries. Your siege towers. For the Romans, some cavalry. And then obviously getting into Simon. Then I saw John on this counter sheet. But these are big counters. So these are not, you know, some half-inch counters. Ooh, they punch pretty nice, too. Very nice. I'll probably, looks like I'll clip them, but um, the white cord, so they're not super thick. You can kind of see here, not a super thick counter, um, medium thickness, lighter medium, but really big. I'm actually really surprised. I thought it'd be, these has got to be bigger than um, the, even like a, what are they, a five, so three, yeah, three quarter inch and five eighth inch counters. So these are three quarter inch ones, and then you have the five eighths would be like the wall ones, right? So these control markers you can see. So the control markers are more of the traditional 5 eighths. more of a, you think in a lot of these games, especially from MMP, these legionary counters, look how much bigger they are than that, those three quarter inch. So that's awesome for playing. Absolutely love that. Hopefully the map has room for them, but I imagine it will if they made them. So they look good. And of course you can see the double sided, right? Cause it's the fresh side and then the spent side on the back. 
And this was just the other counter sheet. So I said the Judeans, some blank ones. Ooh, too bad. Always, whenever I see blank ones, I'm like, man, you can find something to put on there. Um, turn counter, all supply, siege ramp, control markers. There should be, yep, either side, Judean side or Roman side. And then walls. The wall strength. The walls start at four, which we'll look at in the map in a second. Let me go ahead and get the map out. All right, here's the map laid out, I guess, sideways. So technically, which is a little bit of a bummer, um, it makes maybe more sense to player, but um, for, you know, solo, I'm not gonna, <laughs> the long way, I'm not gonna be able to have it that way. I, my table's not set up that way, and I just, I can't really reach that way. So we're just sort of looking at it here. A little bit of an idea. So I'll probably play it probably like that um, on the, from the side, but here you can see the actual um, different zones on the outside. So Storm of Jerusalem up here, right? You have, tells you that based on the color, this table up here, um, what the defensive value, one, two, three, based on the color. Um, supply restrictions increase, your day in areas, unable to refresh. You have the turn over here. You have a turn track, hand size track. Also, so depending on the turn, right, is influences how many cards you're gonna have, right? The Judean or Roman player, VP and supply restrictions. Also know there is a couple areas here you can see add bonus cards. Um, the areas themselves, looks like they're pretty clear. And you have, you know, where the Romans are starting off in control and you have where the Judeans start off in control. Romans, they've besieged, you know, and they're coming in, coming in on all sides here. Um, you have areas where you can see there's potential siege towers and then areas or where you can't, I should say. And so the other areas will have the potential to have them. Um, yep, outer zones and then the inner areas here. Walls, you can see the normal strength is four. And then there were wall markers, right, that went from three, two, and one. So replacing down as those walls are reduced by the Romans besieging them. So very nice. I'm not going to... Uh, should I cover it and cover it? No, you guys can see it right now. I'm not going to cover it with Lexi and show it off that way. I may do some a playthrough video. We shall see. But, um, yeah, that is Storm Over Jerusalem. Clearly, it is, you know, it's a two-player game. It's got cards, uh, you know, as is out of the box. I don't know how well it's solo. I'm sure it's solo capable. Just maybe not, you know, that one may not be the number one way to play. But um, I may give it a shot anyway because I'm stubborn and like that. But... Some really nice looking opponents. I love the size of the counters. Um, and I like these cards. These linen finish cards are, and the artwork on them is absolutely beautiful. So this is been my recon unboxing of Storm Over Jerusalem, the Roman Siege. I definitely am going to check the game out. And like I said, the very, I don't know if I'll do a playthrough, but I'll definitely share some thoughts on it. I'm sure I'll have some videos on it. You guys know I can't uh, keep my thoughts to myself. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, I sure would appreciate the subscription to my channel. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. It's free, I swear. Um, at least the first one is. Um, and then after that, if you want to comment below, let me know if you played the game. Let me know what you think about this game and my video. And until next time, everybody, later.